Hey guys, Dan Heilman here. We're back with another Awaken Chaos Era video. Today I'm going to do an arena guide. I'm going to show you some of the teams I use. I'm going to show you the team I use on defense. I'm going to show you a couple of the different teams I use. I'm going to show you my auto team. Uh, we have an arena event going right now. I don't think I've ever made a video on arena, at least not in a while. Um, I usually don't spend too much time in arena, but since there is an arena event, um, I want to go over my team, show you what I do. I'm in platinum. Um, I'm usually in diamond. Uh, you can see I've gone down quite considerably since last time. I usually get in here, do the arena events, and then lose some of my points. Um, all right, let me first top up. Like, uh, yeah, I got 153 of these boys. So clearly I farm, but not arena. All right, we'll get five more of those. All right, let me show you my teams. Let me just kind of show you how it works. Um, this is the hardest team in the bunch. Let's see how my normal team works out here. This is my normal auto team. So I like this team because I don't have to do anything special. I don't need to manual anything. I can literally roll in here and hit the auto button. I'll show you the builds on all the units after I'm done doing a couple battles and kind of showing you my logic and what I do here. Um, so yeah. So right now we have no My the Asia on the enemy team, so I don't need to target anyone specifically. All I do is I literally hit the auto button. You can see my team order. I have Lunar Melissa, and then I have Brand, and then I have my Avera, and then I have my Nathalia. So when I hit this auto button here, I have a decent amount of focus on Lunar Melissa, so she is pretty good at landing decreased defense, and then she also lands Taunt on everyone. My Brand goes next, and he buffs everyone. And then my Avera comes in for the first nuke. Drops some bombs there. There she gets another proc. She, My Avera is in a Cursed set, not in an Avarice set. And then uh, my Nathalia will come in and clean out whatever's left usually. Um, sometimes there's one or... How, how did Avera... Did she get resurrected? What just happened? Didn't a very just I swear I just watched her die and then she all of a sudden got resurrected. All right, so now we just got Yolanda left and we're just gonna sit here and uh, wow, she's a tanky girl. She's a tanky girl. That is a super tanky Yolanda. Holy crap! All right, that was the tankiest person I've ever fought in my entire life. I've never fought someone that tanky. Holy crap. I did 60,000 damage to Yolanda. <laughs> okay, that was uh, not normal. I usually breeze through with this auto team, but that's going to work okay. All right, and basically what I do is I use that auto team for everything. Oh, there's no Windexes. I wanted a Windex team. Uh, basically, if there's an enemy Windstrex, all I do then is I drop my Windstrex in um, so that I can beat the speed because my brand and my Lunar Melissa are nowhere near 300 speed. And, you know, a lot of the players will have quite high speeds in here. So, again, I'm going to go in here. I'm literally just going to press the auto button, and it's all going to happen for me here. Decreased defense goes out. Taunt goes out. Bow before your king. Buffs go out. Avera goes in with the cannons. Death is in bloom. Some more cannons. Couple other attacks. Couple other bonus attacks. Couple other cannons. And then uh, Nathalia comes in here for the cleanup. Alright, so that's my normal arena auto team um i was not using lunar melissa before i was using like i was using the normal wind strikes with three damage dealers and lunar melissa has helped a little bit in the beginning i wasn't so sure about her um let's try a team with like my the asia let's try this team here Brand the Brilliant, and I'll show you what I do differently when I have a My the Asia, because usually they're ridiculously tanky, they're almost unkillable. Um, honestly, they probably just need to be like totally removed from the game, <laughs> if I'm being honest. They kind of just break arena. So now all I do is I target My the Asia, because usually she's not going to die on the first like you know couple turns here. Uh, we'll see how this one goes. 
All right, so Brand's buffing. Let's see how tanky the enemy team is. You know, it's hit or miss. Some people are built really well, and some people are built really bad. Like, this Mai the Asia is very bad. Um, very weak. Not very tanky. But I will still want to focus her because I don't want any resurrections happening. That's not good. You can see why I did the target. You see how Lunar Melissa put the extra stun in on the second turn? That's why I target my the Asia, because I want to make sure she doesn't get that res off. If she gets that res off, it's just annoying. You got to go through all the teams again. Um, you got to fight everyone again. That's why I force target my the Asia. Um, you can also force target whoever you don't want. If there's not a my the Asia, like if you have someone um, like this team, I could target maybe Blackhorn or whatever and just because that'll allow the, the stun on the second turn to go into whoever you want it to go into, whoever you're targeting. So we'll just see who uh, gets hit the hardest here so I know who's going to be easier to kill. You can also see that Lunar Melissa has a chance to put on a two turn taunt, which is pretty interesting. All right, so we're going to click Brand. Because Brand only has a one turn taunt, and I don't want him to get a turn. So, we'll see how much Nath cleans up. She might clean up a lot of these guys here. Oh, yes, yeah. All right, so now we're clicked on Brand. Brand is taunted, so he's just going to hit Lunar Melissa. He's going to get a stun right here from Lunar Melissa. Boom, that's my uh, spell. And um, they never even got a turn. Man, the loading data is like every five seconds. All right. We're back in Diamond. <coughs> All right. We're back in Diamond. Um, let's roll with some of these. Let's finish up two more teams here. I don't want the video to be too long, but I'd like to show a couple battles. I want to get to a, win a Windex team here. Alright, so this team I think is going to be pretty easy. I don't know why they're using Santis. They're using like a queen team here, basically. Got sawdust in my lungs from uh, working on that shelf downstairs. All right, this one's pretty easy. There can be no mercy for treason. Now this team is. Um, Pretty based around Lunar Melissa, so I will show you some other teams and some other replacements that you can use in place of her. Uh, let me get this last team down, and I want to get to the next page here. I don't want to skip because when you skip, you lose a lot of arena points. Um, not points, you lose a lot of like ranking points when you skip. That might be good for you. So if you're getting to the point where it's getting kind of difficult for this event... You can always just lose a bunch and lose some rank, so it's easier. You still get points when you lose, don't forget, for this arena event specifically. So again, I'm going to target Mai the Asia because she's usually the tankiest. And um, she's really annoying if she gets that resurrect off. Okay, this is a very weak Mai the Asia. The weakest I've ever faced. <laughs> that's, like a, that's like a naked Mai the Asia. Alright, that's going to be really easy to kill. Wait, what? Did I, did she resist the taunt? How did she just resurrect? What just happened? Uh, she must have resisted either the taunt or the stun. That was weird. That was really weird. Yeah, she must have taunted the, um, the stun. All right, that was still pretty easy. All right, now we got to the second page. I wanna show you some of, um, See how big, how many points I got there? I got 36 points there, so that's way bigger than the normal. You see, I got that five win streak, got me 20 points. Now, if you don't want to rank up, what you can do is you can clear four teams out of the page, and then you can hit that refresh button. All right, here's a Windex team. 
I want to show you just literally the only thing I changed. So when I get to a Windex team, all I do is I pull Brand out, I go over here, I grab Windex, and I'm literally going to use the same auto team. Um, my Windex has like 290 speed, I think. So in this rank, yeah, look at how, wow. What? This must be a naked Windex. Okay, that's a naked Windex. So she doesn't have any stats at all on her. Um, cause she's slower than my Avera, which is very odd. Death is in bloom. Oh wow, that was a very weak team. I think, I think everyone was naked besides, uh, Valeria. That was a very easy team. Okay, cool. So... That's the arena offense team. I'll go through the stats on everyone um, after I show you my defense team. Yeah, I'm sure you guys know what a lot of people are using for defense. Um, you know, all these dwarf teams. So let's show you my defense, show you what I run. Oh, I have Tina, Tia in here randomly. Um, I usually use either Tia in this slot or I use Dark Nick. Uh, Dark Nick's pretty cool. A lot of people don't have Dark Nick, but I was kind of messing around actually. Let's see how my defense has been doing. Oops, oops, oops. I forgot I swapped out. Oh, it's not doing very well. Okay, it's not doing very well. All right, I should probably put Dark Nick back in there. I think I'm. Oops. Never turn your back on your king. All right, so I'll draw. I th I might have ripped some gear off Dark Nick. Maybe that's why I had Tia in there. Let's uh, let's go see if my Dark Nick is even geared. Yeah, he's geared. So my Dark Nick is in a really annoying set. He's in the stun set, and he um has pretty decent stats. He has pretty high crit damage. Uh, attack's not very high. Um, speed doesn't really matter that much, and he's not quite crit capped. Um, I had to pull some gear off of him. His abilities also aren't max. Oh, I should drop one more since I have enough here. Let's throw those in here real quick. Boom. Alright, so this is actually the team I normally use. Obviously, a lot of people aren't going to use Dark Nick. What you can use this team... Well... You can use this team, and instead of Dark Nick, you can put another healer in. You can put My the Asia in there. You can put Charles in there. You can put Rickard in there. You could put... Uh, sometimes I was using... Either Nathalia or Hydrissia. My Hydrissia is actually quite fast, and she's in an Everest set, so she can be quite annoying in Arena. But this is the normal team I use. And you can see I have the um, the Block, Death spell, and the Resurrect spell. So this is a really good defense. Uh, that one I usually don't lose too much in. Okay, now let me show you some of the gear I have. And I'm trying to think of what kind of... Um, so instead of Lunar Melissa, you could probably use C Kane here because he has the Grants Invincible. So Invincible would be kind of similar to having the Taunt. Um, the Taunt sometimes get two turns. So I don't know how fast. Uh, he's quite slow though. You'd have to build him pretty fast. You could definitely do it. Build him in six speed sets. Um, I have not messed around with Celestial Cane. Obviously you can see that, but this is a replacement if you do not have Lunar Melissa. I do feel like Lunar Melissa is pretty easy to get. So I feel like most people are going to have at least one copy and the Ascension is totally unnecessary on Lunar Melissa. The only thing that's useful is Getting to A4, which is pretty hard. That's what I have because you get this extra speed. But other than that, you really don't need Ascensions on Lunar Melissa. She is really good for CC. Obviously, this ability right here, 100% um, damage to all enemies and applies Taunt. It's a 100% chance to land Taunt as long as you have different, decent focus. And it also has a 40% chance to apply Taunt for two turns, which is pretty cool. I'll show you the gear I have. I just have speed sets. I want her to be fast. Um, and I'll show you the stats. I don't care too much about defense stats. These are secondary priority. Your first priority is speed. You can say I have 240 speed. Your second priority is focus. I like having more than 100% focus. And honestly, your third is resistance. You can see the order I did that. So speed was my first priority, then focus, then resistance, then health and defense. Okay? Um, that's how I build her. 
She, you want her to be quick. You want her to have some resistance so she doesn't get CC'd by the enemy team a lot. Uh, that resistance will really help you. Now, I'll show you some of the gear I have. I have a focused neck with resistance and speed. That's actually a really good amulet for her. Um, health, resistance, speed, precision. Speed, resistance, agility, health, attack, um, defense, etc. You can see what I'm going for. A lot of focus, a lot of resistance, and defensive stats, and a lot of speed. Uh, the speed sets give me a majority of my speed, um, and then you have the speed boots and a couple speed stats. Okay, that's Lunar Melissa. Um, and I'll show you my brand builds. And I'll show you my Windex. My Windex is right somewhere in here. What? Am I like staring right at her and don't see her? Oh, because she's in my favorites. I'm a bit tired. Uh, <laughs> am I blind? Here we go. Oh my god, I worked the midnight shift last night. Until midnight, I worked 3 p.m. to midnight, and then I had to be back at the plant at 7 a.m., so I'm a little out of it today. Forgive me. Uh, all right, here's my Windex. Helm and chest are, like, totally useless because you really what you need is a lot of speed and focus. So I'll show you the stats. I have... 287 speed you know i rolled up like 40 pieces of gear it's really hard to break like 290 speed it's really hard um and i have 77 percent focus not that high resistance is not that high you know the only slots you can get speed is your boots your ring this is the best speed ring i have unfortunately only three rolls into speed and three rolls into speed on the amulet only two rolls into speed on the weapon so those are the only pieces you can get speed helm and chest you cannot get any speed so yeah that's how you build her six speed sets with speed gear pretty easy there all right so when i'm not using windex i'm using brand i'll show you my brand build i also use brand for ash magisteria the gear is only level 12. I mean, speed sets again. Of course, almost all my gear is six star gear. I don't even look at five star gear anymore. So obviously I'm gonna be um, on the higher end of gear there. Obviously, if you're in lower brackets of arena, just scale the gear down, do the best you can. If you're in higher um, ranks of arena, you're gonna have to scale the gear up even more. So my focus on brand is speed and health. That's really all you need. Uh, I'm low on focus, I'm low on resistance, and I'm low on agility. I don't have really good gear on him. I kind of just threw Brand together, honestly, just for Ash Magisteria. And then, as an added bonus, I use him in Arena. 225 speed's decent on Brand. You don't need... Uh, what is going on with the disconnects? I'm hardwired on a PC. I don't know why it keeps disconnecting constantly. Uh, anyways, decent health, a little bit of defense, high speed... My focus is really poor. I need a lot more focus. My resistance is pretty bad, and my agility and precision are pretty bad as well. Uh, you can also run him in a stun set for Arena, and he's really annoying in a stun set. Uh, you can build him in speed set if you want, but stun set makes him really, 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 really annoying. Because every time he counterattacks with uh, this ability here, wherever it is, this one. Yeah. Whenever he counters attacks with this, he can stun. Um... Do note that stun set um, needs focus, okay? If you don't have a lot of focus, you will not land stuns from your stun set. Uh, kind of weird. I don't like that they made stun sets need focus, but it is what it is. Okay, and then let me talk about my nukers. So my Avera used to be my best geared, but I had to re-gear Nathalia for Ash Magisteria. So I pulled some of her good pieces off and put them on Nath, unfortunately. So her stats are pretty poor, honestly. Um, she's in a Cursed set to get extra attacks. You can also build her an Avarice set. She's very good in that. Uh, 280 crit damage. Attacks low. Um, she's quite speedy, though. Do I have her in speed boots or something? I must have her in speed boots. Yeah, I have her in speed boots. These are a really nice pair of speed boots, um, so I'm using those. I won't show you all the gear, but, yep, yeah, that's my Avera. Pretty solid stats. Uh, my Nathalia. I have basically all my best gear on. She is in a guard set as well. Um, kind of just broken sets. I have one speed set, one guard set, two broken sets. Um, she's kind of slow, 151, but you're using the taunt from Lunar Melissa, so that's really going to help you there. 100% crit, 300 crit damage, and 4,300. She is fully ascended. 
Um, and she also has some precision, which helps in arena as well. 14 precision is not going to do much for you. You really want like 30 precision or so. But again, this build is for Ash Magisteria. It's just an added bonus that I can use it in arena. All right. I think that's all the heroes I talked about. I kind of showed you... Um, I showed you my Dark Nick. This is only for my defense. He's just fun to play around with. Obviously, he's an LD legendary. So not a lot of people have him. Um, but I do think this is one of the places he excels is Arena. Um, I have him just in a stun set. Just because I built some stun sets um, before I realized they need focus. So I built a bunch of stun sets with all damage. And then they're kind of useless because stun set requires focus, which is super annoying. But that's his stats. Um, you can... He actually has one of the highest attacks in the entire game. Uh, oh, I was already there. 1,300. When he's fully ascended, he has like 1,600 attack. He has one of the highest attack stats in literally the entire game. Um, so he's pretty cool. His other stats are just okay. Um, but yeah, he hits pretty hard. He's pretty cool. He has that uh, unkillable stuff. Let me think of some other really useful units for Arena. Uh, Tia is another great unit. She's I have mine built in a stun set as well. Um, obviously I can farm Gemini, so if you can't farm Gemini, it's going to be hard to get stun sets, but my Tia is built to be very fast. She's also kind of built as a nuker, 100% crit, 230 crit damage, uh, almost 3k attack. Her attack's quite low, but at least she has some crit damage. Uh, her focus is high. That means she can land stuns and freezes. She is another very good one to use in arena. If you have Evelyn first on, obviously she can be used in arena as well. She gives everyone extra turns, etc. Trying to think of some other good nukers in arena. Ciara is another one that you can use in arena. She hits quite hard. Um, and the good thing about her is you can build her slow with an avarice set, and she can proc when enemies go below 50%. And her proc hits quite hard. So she's pretty cool in arena. Um, if you're a beginner game, you can always use Connor in a defensive uh, build. To help you out as well as jake or joseph he's decent as well light zach is another one that's turning out to be quite good in arena as well as mary so those are some honorable mentions i don't use them but those are some ones that you can use also virgil is very annoying in arena he has this ability um that deals damage to everyone and applies silence it's so annoying um you can build him extremely fast he has a tier speed which is pretty cool uh he can be quite annoying in arena I think that's pretty much it. You could build like, you could use like Rogue um, in Arena if you're kind of lacking um, people. He can be kind of annoying. You build him really high health and every time he gets hit, uh, he's decent on defense. Every time he gets hit, he basically um, deals damage based on his max HP. So he's pretty cool. Okay. The video is getting long. I don't want it to be super long. So I will just leave it at that. This is my Arena guide. I want to show you how I do arena. Obviously, what I do in arena is gonna be different than what other people do in arena. Um, there's a lot of different teams you can use. You know, in the very beginning, no I used uh, Sierra, Avera, Nathalia, and like Windex or Brand. So I just went all out nukers. But without the CC, um, some of the defensive teams, I was not able to get through their defense. So, okay, that's it for the video. We obviously have the arena vet going. So I wanted to show you what I do for arena. Um, yeah, that's it. You got a couple days left on this. What do we got? Um, two days left. So get in there, finish your arena. These arena events are kind of annoying because you have to do so many, but you know, a free five-star pumpkin and a couple four stars is pretty useful. So, all right, that's it for the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Oh, excuse me. Uh, hit that like button, sub to the channel if you're not already, and have a great day, everyone. See you guys. Um, I hope you're enjoying the video. This one was kind of a long one, but I wanted to go over everything in arena. I'm going to show you some battles and stuff. So hope you guys don't mind some of these uh, 25, 30 minute videos. I'm not sure. You know, I get a lot of comments. Some people say, oh, I like the 30 minute videos. Some people say, oh, it's annoying if it's over 10 minutes. So I guess it just depends on who you are. But I'll try to put some timestamps and stuff in here. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great day, everyone. Get out there and clear that arena and get some free rewards. All right. See you, everyone. Have a good day. Bye.